Hey everyone, happy Thursday. Welcome to Midday Stretch. My name is Jenna, fitness coordinator in Bedford. 30 minutes today of stretching and we're going to add in some foam rolling today. So if you have a foam roller, go ahead and grab that, dust it off. If you don't, that's okay. Maybe when you're in the studio or you're at the fitness center, you can rewatch this video and do some of the foam rolling techniques that we'll be doing today. Um, so grab whatever you need. I have a mat here I'm going to be on. Just want to make sure you're comfortable in a nice spot. Feel free to grab your water and have that by your side. We'll get started if you're doing our Passport to Wellness Challenge. Hopefully you're finding some motivation to get some of those workouts done and do some of those bonus challenges this week. Maybe try to aim for one to two workouts if you um, are someone that's kind of just starting to get into the groove of it. Of course, do as many as you'd like. And recovery is important too, so stretching. Again, we're gonna start on the ground. We're gonna start the first half with um, the foam roller, so working through any knots, anything that's tight in your body. It's really great to kind of break up, find pressure points that maybe are sore. We're gonna focus on a minute of foam rolling in certain spots, right? So let's start on the ground. Let me just move my camera here so you can see me. And we're gonna start sitting, whoops, my goodness, crooked camera here. We're gonna start seated. All right, so I have my foam roller, I just have a mini one here. I'm gonna bring it under my kneecaps. From here, I'm gonna do one foot at a time. I'm gonna roll out the hamstring or you know, the back side of that leg. So I'm going to plant my right foot into the ground. My left leg is on the foam roller or my hands are behind me to try to, you know, facilitate the movement. So I have some stability here and I'm pushing through my heel of the foot that's flat and I'm pushing on my hands to roll through that hamstring on the first side. Again, I recommend about a minute of foam rolling that one side at a time. Okay. If you find an area that's maybe really sore or a certain spot, you're gonna kinda of wanna stop on that spot and foam roll through for about 30 seconds for those pressure points to kinda of break up anything that's causing you a little bit of pain or soreness. So one minute here, just pushing through that hamstring all the way, bringing it towards your butt and all the way back towards that kneecap nice and slow and then we'll switch sides. Very good. switch it up to the other side so my left foot is in the ground right on the foam roller hands are behind I'm gonna push my hips off the ground and roll through a minute on this next side maybe one side feels a little bit tired than the other again take that time about 30 seconds to really push into whatever area has a has a pressure point sometimes it can feel a little bit intense with the foam rollers on our legs so be gentle it will feel better by the end, I promise. Maybe not so much at the time, right, if we're sore. Let's keep moving through this hamstring here. We're breathing nice and slow. Good. Awesome, we're gonna keep the foam roller in the same sort of position here. I'm gonna sit on my foam roller now. So working through my glute more, the side of my leg. I'm bringing my left foot into that figure four. It's just like we do the stretch on the ground or standing, right? Figure four. My left knee is up. My right foot is flat. I'm going to turn towards the left knee since that leg is up. So now I'm moving into, again, the side of my glute here. And I'm going to use that right foot to rock back and forth. Foam roll that left side. Good. Nice job again. You feel a pressure point, you can hold it there for 30 seconds and try to rock out that knot. Should feel good. Good, hold that foam roller in that same spot. And then we'll move to that right leg. Good work here. Nice, and switching up to the other side. Now I'm gonna sit more so on that right foot. Left foot is flat, figure four with that right leg, let's turn towards the other way. Good, 
foam rolling can also be done before your workouts, during your rest or sets at the gym, if you're working out during a workout, and after. So there's no really time when you should or should not do it. If you have a little movement break at work, go ahead and do that at your desk. So really there is no wrong answer. Doing it beforehand, you're kind of warming up your muscles. Doing it between sets, letting yourself recover, and doing after, getting that recovery in after your workout. Let's move down to our calves. So same positioning here with our hands. My right foot is planted. And now I'm just moving that foam roller down to my calf muscle. And now I'm just working through the bottom half of my leg. Okay, try to push your calf into that foam roller to feel that nice deep stretch. Sometimes our calves are tight and this causes us maybe to have a little bit of a tight squat or you're not able to get a full range of motion when other things are tight. So we just wanna make sure everything's feeling good. And in one minute, if you feel something that's hurting a little bit more than usual, we're holding it for 30 seconds to roll. Good, and I'm gonna switch sides. Right foot, we're here. Press the hips up, rolling through that other calf. There are also some really cool foam rollers. Mine's not that high tech, but there are some that vibrate. So you turn on like a button and it also has this like massage type of setting as you're rolling, which is really cool. There's a lot of high tech options. You can get them anywhere though. I just got mine at like Marshall's, $20 or something. And we have plenty in our fitness centers. All right, moving along, we're gonna stretch out the lower back. Before we start to roll anything through, I'm going to sit in front of the foam roller. I'm going to put this right behind my butt or lower back. And from here, I'm just going to hold a stretch over the foam roller. All right, so you can have your legs bent, your heels or feet in the ground. And you're kind of just coming up and over, making that curve with your spine. And we're going to hold. If you want to feel that more in your lower back, feel free to take those legs out and straighten them out and hold. Yeah, 30 more seconds, let's hold the stretch here. And then we'll start to move with the foam roller on our back. And nice job. All right, from here, I'm sitting, just kind of like I'm relaxing on my foam roller. My feet are flat, pressing through my heels to get my hips off the ground. I'm gonna put my hands behind my head here. Okay, and from here, I'm gonna use my feet to rock myself forward and back, working through my upper back, maybe mid, and if you can, a little bit towards the lower back, if you can move that way. But again, upper back, our traps, usually always tight, just by sitting for long periods of time. So let's roll that out nice and slow. Good. Take your time. Again, 30 seconds on that pressure point. Good job. Good. And relax. Nice job. Let's move to the quads. All right. A lot of us have tight quads, myself included. We're going to now move the foam roller in front of our bodies. From here, we're going to come over the foam roller. Again, quads are at the front of the thighs. We want to target those muscles there in the legs. I'm going to come over. My foam roller is pretty small, so usually if I had a longer one, I'd be able to do both my legs at the same time. So I'm going to try to squeeze both my legs on here. Again, this is just a mini one, but I'm going to come over onto my elbows. Okay, and from here, I'm going to rock myself forward and back to stretch through those quads. I'm sorry, not stretch, to foam roll through those quads. Take this one nice and slow sometimes can feel a little bit more intense in the quads. Okay, so just take your time. And I'm on my elbows. My toes are off the ground here. And I'm just moving forward and back. Nice and slow. 
all the way down just above that kneecap. Good, let's breathe. Good, nice job. Awesome. All right, good work. So that concludes our first half of the stretch with our foam roller. We'll do the second half of this class, a regular stretch, because if you don't have a foam roller, wanna make sure you get a stretch in as well. If you don't have one, you'd like to purchase one again, you can get one on Amazon, Marshalls. Honestly, a lot of places sell them that you wouldn't expect, even like Target, plenty of options. Or again, feel free to save this, listen to this video when you're in one of the fitness centers where you have access to a foam roller. Okay, for now, let's get into our stretch. We're already on the ground, so let's Let's just stay on the ground here. Let's lay down on our backs. Taking the clip out here. We'll start in our lying position. Okay, we'll start how I always like to start with some breathing. So I'm going to have you close your eyes. Okay, just let your body fall where it naturally falls. So my toes are coming out to the side. That's okay. Hands by our sides. Close your eyes. Let's find your breath. Start to listen to that inhale, that exhale. Good, make it a little bit deeper. So inhale and let it go. Good, feel, feel yourself sink into that floor with that exhale. Let's do that two more times. Good. let's relax, let's let any stress, anxiety, worries, come out with that exhale, let it go. One more. Good, and keep those eyes shut. Let's take a second here. Good. From here, I'm going to open my eyes, start to wiggle those fingers and toes, waking everything up nice and slow. Good. Circle out those ankles, a little bit more movement, circle out those wrists. From here, I'm going to send my right foot or leg across my body, so to the left side, holding on with my left hand. Both of my shoulders, keep them planted on the ground and hold about 90 degrees with that leg. Okay, bring it back down to center. Left leg comes over to the other side and hold. Okay, one more time, each side, try to get that knee a little bit closer to the floor. Good. Don't force anything, but try to pull it just a little bit closer than you did the first time. Go back down to the other side. From here, let's roll up. We're gonna stay on the ground. Okay, I'm gonna bring my toes facing forward, my hands come behind, so I'm in nice and tight. I'm gonna bring my knees down to the left side, so they're both gonna go in the same direction to open up my hips. So I'm coming this way, okay? Even though my rest, the rest of my body is still staying forward, I'm just moving now to the right side with either knee 
That one that's farthest away might not go as far over. That's okay. Other side. Breathe, maybe you start to feel your core engaged and squeezing. It's a good thing, you're using your core. Good, one more time each side. We'll bring it to the right and then to the left. Good, pigeon pose. So right side first, over that right hip. Come right over, over that back left toe and elbows to the ground and hold. Good, let's hold. Good, from here, let's switch it up so left foot comes to the front. Here, pigeon pose over the toe, bring it down to the ground. Back to my seated position. Swing around the front here. Butterflies, the bottoms of our feet are together. Okay, from here, sit up nice and tall. We're gonna do our head rolls. Well, on our butterflies, a nice big circle. All the way around. Let those knees fall out to the side. Nice slow rolls with the neck. Good, one more on the side, then we'll bring it to the left. Carry it the other way, the left side here. Good, and back. more. Okay, let's bring our right arm down to the side and stretch over all the way to the right. Okay, and you're going to feel this in your shoulder, maybe all the way down their side here as you reach over and hold. Good, back up up and over to the other side. I'm on my elbow here. If you can't quite go on your elbow, that's okay. Let's take it to our hand and stretch it all the way over to this side. Go back to center one more time with each side, excuse me. Pull it all the way over, reaching to that other side of the room. Knees are staying pressed down. Good, and we're back up to the other side. Bring it over. Good. Let's come into our tabletop. Okay. So hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. I want a nice flat back here. Just like a nice tabletop. And I'm going to draw the belly button in towards the ceiling. So I'm drawing it in. I have a nice round back here. Opposite way, I'm pushing down. So now I have that flat back or hyperextension more so. Let's breathe through this. Good, draw the navel up. Good, a few more times. And 
and back up. One more exhale, let it go. Good, from here, just bring those toes right into the floor. We're already halfway into that position, downward dog and hold. Feel that stretch. Okay, let's walk the feet in to meet the hands. Come on up to standing, whoops. Close one there. Need my short ceilings. Let's adjust the camera for our last few minutes. That will do standing. Let's work into our upper body a little bit more. I'm gonna grab my wrist, or I can just grab into my elbow and hold. From here, let's roll out the wrist. Another beautiful day here in the Bedford area. So get outside, get walking with your pet. Remember this month, Switch Sides is Pet Companionship Month. Okay, and that was created by the American Heart Association. Basically showing that having a pet, spending time with them, whether that's a puppy, a cat, or a bird, right, helps to alleviate some stress and contributes to your well being, your physical and mental health in a good way, so in a positive way. So get outside. Share a picture on Slack tomorrow with your pet or with you spending some time with your pet. We're gonna do this all four Fridays in the month of August. So we'd love to see your pictures. I'll be posting one too, spending some time with my dog. So don't forget about that. Let's grab our ankle, stretch out that quad or front of the thigh. Feel free to hold on to something if you need some balance. If you don't have a pet, feel free to capture yourself moving or being active, or maybe you have a friend that has a pet that you want to spend some time with. That works too. All right, from standing, let's do some rotation. So bend our knees slightly. You don't need to bring your arms anywhere specific. I always like to put mine up to my chest and I'm gonna rotate side to side with the bend in my knees. Core is squeezing. Pull into that lower back. Maybe yours cracks a few times like mine does. Moving nice and slow, keeping the knees and toes pointed forward. Three, two, one. We are gonna end this off with our breath standing. So just like we did in the beginning, we're gonna end the same way, but now we're standing. So I'm gonna ask you, once I get back to my spot, to close your eyes, take some nice inhales, exhales to end off the stretch. So let's walk it back, standing up. Just focus on being here. It's okay if you're not standing exactly upright posture. Just let yourself kind of naturally stand how you would stand. Shut those eyes. Think about something positive. If you saw my post on Slack, I asked, what are you grateful for that contributes to your self-care? Maybe you're grateful for some time that you can move your body. You're grateful that your body is healthy so that it can move. Maybe for friends and family that support you through all times. Maybe your pets who contributes to your well-being. Keep those eyes shut. Now let's start those breaths. So inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. Good, let it go. Let's do a few more of those. Very good. Good, last two nice deep breaths. When you're ready, last one. Take it in. Let it go. Good. Let's hold here with our eyes closed for one more minute. Really great job today showing up for yourself, being present, making sure your body feels good, taking a step back to make time for stretching and recovery. Okay, you can open your eyes. Awesome job.
really great work today. Thanks for coming to Midday Stretch. See you guys tomorrow as well for Hardcore Express at 8.30 a.m. virtually. A couple more opportunities to get some movement in. Again, Passport Challenge, get those workouts done. You have workouts one through five, so try to get through those. And the next set will be sent out next week. And with that, have a great rest of your day. Thank you.